I don't know enough about that. I doing? I haven't heard from Scrappy yet. Thorhild never mentioned you. Tylus says you really helped him out. You've done well. Right. Now you have an advocate. You only need my approval. For that, you'll have to pass Rat's loyalty test. I should warn you, though. So far, no one has passed. So don't get your hopes up, okay? Let me worry about that. Your confidence is admirable. But listen to what Rat wants you to do. What sort of test is this? As you know, this is the former outlaw camp. Many of them have joined us. But not all of them hold us berserkers in high regard. Have you noticed the outlaw propaganda that's been circulating? Nope. Must have missed it. Rat tasked Wolf, one of our guards, with finding the source of the propaganda. Go find Wolf and help him. If you can find those responsible and bring them to justice, you will have passed the test and earned Rat's trust. That is the only way. Good luck. The upper part of the fort is for honorable citizens or those with direct invitation from Warlord Rat only. You're not coming in if you don't have a good reason to be here.
Jesus was definitely it. Prices for a large beer. How long have you been working for me now? Uh. It's several years. How is it even possible that you still don't know the fucking prices? You can't sell people beer for a different price every time. Beer comes in one size, and it always costs the goddamn same. Get it tattooed on your fucking forearm. Goddamn idiot. What do I care? And be goddamn polite to people. And fucking believable. I gotta take care of every goddamn thing myself. You believe the rumors they left. I really don't know why I bother hiring staff in the first place. Gotta do every damn thing your damn self anyway if you want it done right. And now you show up? Like my day's not shitty enough. What the fuck do you want, Jax? So you haven't forgotten me. How could I? You turned the fort upside down. So tell me, how do I get rid of you? You in a bad mood? No, I'm the motherfucking poster girl for happiness. Ivan is waiting for his groceries. Who? The merchant. Which one? The Morcon trader. Oh, him. You've come to the wrong place. He mentioned you specifically. So what if he did? I had his goods. Had. So where are they now? How the fuck do I know? Some asshole stole them and I'd have to go to the upper district to get replacements. But if I tell you it was Rat who swiped the stuff, it's nothing you didn't know already. Ivan won't like that. Not my fucking problem. Unless Fenris loosens up access to the upper district, he's shit out of luck. I can't perform miracles. You better be quiet. I want a drink. Then go see my bartender. That's what he's there for. Listen, it's nothing to do with you, but I'm really not in the mood for shooting the shit now. Unless you've got something real important to say, go drink something. Everything's in a besser, Dyer. Pretty good with faces, and yours is new around here. So spit it out. Who are you? Name's Jax. All right, then. Next question Faction. Which one do you belong to? I don't belong to anyone. Better not be lying to me. Why would I lie about that? I guess we'll see. Just remember, I'm gonna be watching you real close. Do you interrogate everybody like this? We have to be extra careful these days. There's been a few undesirables hanging around the fort. They could be anywhere. But you seem to check out. I could smell those bastards a mile away. Bottom line, though, we need to find them soon. Fort's had enough trouble lately. Are you talking about the outlaws? Damn straight. I just know they're the ones who tried to kill Rat. You must have seen their stinking propaganda. There's flyers all over the fort. That's why Fenris sent me to speak to you. 
Ah, uh, I get it. Trying to get into the upper district, huh? Works for me. Can always use a good volunteer. If there's anything you need to know, fire away. What do you know about the attempt on Rat's life? Didn't Fenris explain everything? Uh, all right, I'll give you the short version. The outlaws managed to plant a bomb in the upper district, but the whole scheme fell apart. After that, Rat had the area closed off. Only people we know we can trust are allowed in. Ever since, that propaganda has been showing up all over the fort. Wish I could tell you more, but that's all I know. How can we find the source of the outlaw propaganda? Well, the bastards who spread this stuff did leave some clues behind. Such as? Here's one of the flyers they've been putting up. Here's one of the nails they used to hang them. Take a good look at them. See if you notice the same things I did. About those clues. Go on, look closely at the flyer and nail. The clues are right there. The nail looks perfectly normal. Normal? That the best you can do? Some detective you'd be. But what about the flyer? What do you make of that? I need to take a closer look at those clues. Then get to it already.
about those clues. Go on, look closely at the flyer and nail. The clues are right there. The message on the flyer was handwritten. True, but that doesn't really get us anywhere right now. Maybe if we had someone's handwriting to compare it to. Not the sharpest tool in the box, are you? I mean, did you even look at them? It's obvious the nail was made by hand in a forge, and the flyer, come on! There's a drink menu on the back. Based on these facts, a couple of possible suspects come to mind. Chloe the innkeeper, and last the blacksmith. Either of them could have had something to do with this. They'd never talk to a guard, but they might be more open with an outsider like you. I'd like you to question them both. I'll be keeping an eye on who's going in and out of Chloe's tavern. We clear? Crystal clear. Good. Then we'll meet up again when you're done talking to them. <laughs> There's my trusty friend. Well, uh, did you manage to get a hold of my supplies? Chloe didn't have your provisions. Seriously? You mean to say you've come back empty-handed? That's not right! There's not a food shortage, is there? Not exactly. Someone with sticky fingers. They were stolen? Oh, for Ravik's sake, just my luck. The guards were probably too busy harassing me to notice. What do I do now? I'll make sure Chloe holds up her end of the bargain. I won't ask how you'll manage that, but I'm not gonna argue. Let me know when you have news. Ever seen this before? It's one of those pieces of paper advertising Baxter's goons, isn't it? That's right. And what do you expect me to do with it? Who's responsible for these flyers? What? How the fuck should I know? I sell beer, I'm not a goddamn psychic. This propaganda was written on the back of your drink menus. Huh. That explains a lot. What's that? I knew someone was stealing my drink menus. I have to get new ones made all the time. It was killing me. I was about to start just writing the damn prices on the blackboard. Having said that, I'm pretty sure no menus have gone missing in the last week or so. So you probably won't find the culprits here. Was that it? If so, I need to get back to work. I'm sorry I can't help you. You'll just have to keep looking. That's the kind of thing... About Ivan's groceries. Is the upper district accessible now? Not that I know of. In that case, there's nothing I can do for you. Man, I just don't think about it.
asked me, but would it be a problem for you to take a different path? Am I interrupting? You are disrupting an active investigation! And a crime scene should always remain in its original state. I see. Can I help? The perpetrator must be an adult. You are an adult. That means you are under suspicion. You're a real smart one, aren't you? I am simply making good use of logic. So, you're gonna tell me what happened? Did you not notice the blood? On the ground? A classic sign of a crime scene. Classic. Aren't you too young to be looking at that? Too late. Listen, kid. You're too young to be involved in this. Nonsense! I have to gather clues and deduce motive. I may have to question you again, too. So please remain available. Can I ask your name, please? Call me Jax. Got it. Suspect number three is named... Jax. I gotta get going. Bye! Hey, where are you going? Fucking kids. I saw a woman of such beauty. I love her I thought was my duty. Help you with something. Speak up and talk fast. There's iron in the fire. Then you must be the blacksmith. Mm-hmm. Guess I must. Damn forge is hotter than hell. Swinging a hammer in there is thirsty work. So, you buying? I don't have any drink on me. Buy some from Chloe. That's what I do. Tastes all right. Grab some for me while you're with her, huh? Are these nails your handiwork? Let me see. Hmm. Could be. Been a while since I made nails. But the longer ones there, those might be mine. Stop making them because they just kept getting stolen. Why are you asking? Somebody is stealing nails from you? Not anymore. Stop making them. Don't have the time anyhow. Where'd you get them? They were used to hang up outlaw propaganda. So does that mean I'm a suspect? And if you are? Oh, it's just about the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I like it here. Like being the smith. Why would I go over to them outlaws? Way they treat metal. All that artless welding. No pride in it. Can't abide. Nope. So I keep my distance from them. <sighs> Sorry I can't help. Never did catch the thieves. They knew what they were doing. If that's the case, I suppose I'll have to keep searching. Hope you find them. Good luck. I got you a beer. Ah, I needed that. Come on, bottoms up. Cheers! Oh, man. That hit the spot. You can come as often as you like. <laughs> hey, I owe you one. Not everybody do me a favor like that. Can you make me a weapon and teach me how to smith? Haha, <laughs> full service, huh? I'm too busy, kid. I can do one or the other, not both. So you choose. Weapon or training. I want to learn to be a smith. Well, I ain't got time to take you on as an apprentice. I'm behind enough as it is. But there's nothing to the trade that you can't learn by making mistakes and fixing them. So, just have at it. And let me know if you get stuck, okay? Too many questions, and I'll start charging some shards. 
only fair. Could I convince you to forge me a weapon as well? It ain't I don't want to. Just I gotta turn down paid work for something like that. So, I mean, if you was to hire me to do it, make it official, you know. I'm not crazy about taking shards from friends. But Fenris is always telling me I do too much for free, and I can't argue. To love her I thought was my duty. I left my work. What, seriously? First the converters, now these towers. I don't like them. I've spoken with Lass. So, do you think he's involved? Doesn't look like it. Someone stole a batch of nails from his workshop. Same type he used to hang up the flyers. There's not much to go on. At least now we know for sure the nails were his. Hmm. <laughs> I've spoken to Chloe. And? Did she have anything to do with those flyers? She claims someone stole those drink menus from her. She was even thinking about getting rid of the menus for good. Would save her from having to make new ones all the time. Hmm, sounds like she isn't involved. Damn it, her only leads and they're up in smoke. I didn't have much luck either. I staked out the tavern hoping to see something suspicious, but nothing. A couple of people acting a little shady, but no one's stealing menus. Must have missed something. So let's go over the details again. Everything we know about the Flyers so far. Both our suspects seem to be innocent. The real culprit stole the Flyers and Nails from them. Right. It doesn't look like those robberies happened too recently. No one saw the thief, which means we're not dealing with some small-time crook. They know what they're doing. What else do we have? The flyers were made and hung up using common items from around the fort. Interesting point when you think about it. Probably means we're dealing with someone who lives here. Not some outsider. Anything else? Looks like the outlaws were behind it all. That much is obvious. Of course, someone could be framing them, but... Eh, I don't buy that. So, to sum up, the people behind the flyers, and probably the attempt on Rat's life, too, are likely to be outlaws living in the fort. Not a bunch of amateurs. Hmm. So, what do we do now? Gotta admit, I don't have a freaking clue. We're out of options here. The only thing left is to catch them in the act. So we just wait? Well, we can do a sweep of the fort once it's dark and hope we get lucky. Not a great plan, but unless you can think of anything else. Can't say I can. And that's what we'll do. Let me know when you're ready. Let's start our night patrol. Kinda needs to be nighttime for us to go on night patrol, don't you think? 
Find a bed or rent a room with the sleepy traveler and get some shut-eye. Then come back when it's dark. Better keep an eye on you. Don't do anything stupid. <clears throat> Who knows how long this will last? Let's start our night patrol. I'm ready if you are. Let's go. How about we go off the beaten track? We can get a good look at what's going on behind the houses, too. Remember, we're not dealing with morons here. They're not gonna come strutting down the main road. Pipe down. There's someone back there. It's mine. Hold off. Let me do it. You sure? Oh, all right, go ahead. Just don't get carried away. He could be innocent. Ah! Fuck, man! You scared the shit out of me! Tell me, what are you doing here? Man, I'll tell you, but please, you gotta promise not to tell anyone else. The guy who lives here tried it on with my old lady, and well, since I really had to go... Uh... You decided to what? Mark your territory? Through his window? Uh, yeah, something like that. Look, I'm just gonna go and get out of your way, okay? Yes, yes, please, just go. We'll be watching you. Well, that was a big hot stream and nothing. And as colorful as it might be, pissing through someone's window isn't quite against the law. Let's forget the whole thing and keep moving. Because when you gotta go, you gotta go. Keep your eyes peeled. Any tiny detail could be significant. Hear that? Let's take a look. Those two look mighty suspicious, don't you think? We should get in closer, see what they're talking about. Good idea. We should listen in first. Move in until you're within earshot. Wait for my signal. Hey, baby. <laughs> Look, I told you, I'm not interested. Just leave me alone. Oh, come on, sugar. I know you want it. You don't have to play hard to get. Now give me some sugar. Hey! I think we've heard enough. Stop! You there! What are you doing, asshole? You totally cock-blocked me. Listen to yourself. Got more booze than sense in your head. Hey, take it easy. I, I wasn't gonna do anything to her. I ever see you talking to a woman like that again, I'll slam your face into the ground. And that's if you're lucky. Fuck, man. I get it. I get it. Maybe I did have a few too many. Get out of here and sleep it off. And think about what you're doing with your life. Go on, scram! 
Scumbag like that's always worth keeping an eye on. I won't forget his face. But as fucked up as that was, it has nothing to do with why we're here. Let's take a look around the smithy. That's where they got the nails. Maybe they'll be back for more. Can't believe something like that could happen here. You never see that kind of thing in Goliath. Maybe we'll catch a break and find someone at the blacksmith. We better. After that, I'm out of ideas. At least it hasn't been a total waste. Plenty going on tonight. Just nothing that has anything to do with those flyers. Starting to think we won't find anyone connected to this whole mess tonight. Still, let's not give up. Sweep's not over yet. Look, over there, right by the smithy. You deal with this one. Go and speak to him. No problem. Good. Just don't stir up any shit if you don't have to. I'll keep watch and make sure he doesn't run. You there! What? What? Turn out your pockets. Are you fucking kidding me? You're not even a pissant guard. I'm not telling you anything. Now get the fuck out of here. Tell me what I want to know, unless you want me to kick your fucking teeth in. Oh, <laughs> I like your attitude. Come on then, give me your best shot. Anything gonna happen here, or...? <laughs> You don't pull your punches, do you? Whew. Just tell me what you're doing here. Unless you want another fist in the face. Yeah, yeah, all right, all right. But you're gonna be disappointed. I wasn't trying to steal anything. I was just looking for my smokes. I know I dropped them around here somewhere. I've been sitting in the tavern all night. Come out here for a quick smoke and drop the fucking pack. And that's when you came along. You expect me to believe that crap? Believe what you want. That's what happened. We can kick the shit out of each other as many times as you like, and it won't change anything. I'm no thief. Fine. Just get out of here. Nah, no, don't worry. I'm heading right back to Chloe's place and the sweet embrace of about a dozen bottles. Gonna get hammered tonight! <laughs> Another dead end. Let's just finish our sweep and head back to the tavern. You could have helped me there. I knew you could handle him. Besides, I found the pack of smokes he lost. I prefer to think of violence as a last resort. Not sure I would have taken your approach there. Anyway, quit your whining. We should head back. Uh, this isn't gonna be our lucky night. Unless we suddenly stumble over the people we're looking for. 
I'm starting to lose hope. <laughs> Me too. But you have all the makings of a great berserker. Nice work out there. Anyway, we're nearly there. Seen anything else that looks fishy? Can't say I have. God damn it. Me neither. Well, there's the tavern again. Think I'll go in and soak up some of the atmosphere. Ask around. Maybe I'll hear something. That's about all we can do. The whole night was a waste of time. You giving up? Maybe. I don't know. We should split up for now anyway. Maybe we'll have more luck that way. Other than that, I'm all out of ideas. Anyway. Let me know if you see or hear anything that seems even slightly relevant. Anything. Right then. See you later. We have our way. It should be enough. I bet you're good at fighting. Can you teach me? Sure, you hand over some shards. I heard things Bear are best, sir, Dyer. Well, you're a barrel of laughs this evening. Oh, yeah, I'm all smiles. Want to talk about it? Ah, just a shitty assignment from a rat, that's all. But who cares, right? As long as there's beer. Hey, you're the customer. But you know where to find me if you want to have a real talk. Thanks, Chloe. Appreciate it. I don't believe it. You think so? I think you're full of shit. You better be quiet. There's my way, and there's the wrong way. We should feel shame. If you believe the rumors, they left. I can't make it any clearer. I really couldn't care less. I have to talk to you. Not here, though. Follow me. What do you want from me? No, 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 not now. Not here. Follow me. We need to go somewhere quiet. I'll explain everything then. Okay, this'll do. We can talk here. What's with all this secrecy? Listen, you're drawing a lot of attention to yourself. Running through the camp, accusing everyone of working with the outlaws. It's not exactly subtle. So do the business. You're looking for the outlaws responsible for that propaganda. Am I right? 
Are you one of them? <laughs> oh, are you barking up the wrong tree, pal? The Claws aren't outlaws, but we're, uh, sympathetic to their cause. You're on the path to winning the Berserker's trust, and I have an offer for you. What are the Claws? And then all in good time. You'll see soon enough. Just listen to my offer, okay? What exactly are you offering? I want you to work for us. Don't worry, it won't involve bloodshed. We Claws prefer a more subtle approach. We want you to cozy up to the Berserkers. Pass us any information you find out. But we'll pay well. A lot of shards to be earned. And just to show we're serious, here's a small advance. Plenty more where that came from. <laughs> Trust me. Think about it, all right? If you'll join us, meet me in my kitchen. If not, well, we never had this meeting, understand? Just don't take too long making up your mind. My way, and there's the wrong way. They should feel shame. I found one of the outlaws who've been putting up flyers. At last, some good news. Well, who is it? His name's Skinny. Skinny? The cook? I find that hard to believe. If he's one of them, they've wormed their way in much deeper than I thought. Whatever he wants from you, play along. I'm sure he's just the tip of the iceberg. The fort must be crawling with outlaws. We have to get to the bottom of this, no matter how deep it goes. So do whatever it takes to find out who's pulling the strings. Good work. What do I care? I don't believe it. 